I ain't afraid no RFI. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching K at MRD Radio stuff, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be very, very honest with you. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of what you might ask of that. That horrible, horrible noise floor that I have to endure day in and day out. So I reached out to my friends at MFJ and I said, Richard, and he said, what? And I said, what can we do to find and hunt down this horrific RFI at my house? And he looked me square in the eyes over email. And he said, Mike, we have the MFJ 852 power line noise meter finder thingy. So that's what we're going to take a look at today on KMRD Radio Stuff. We've got this little uh, meter here with a button, headphone jack, and an actual meter there. So theoretically, we should be able to walk around the property and specifically around all of the power lines and power poles and transformers and stuff that surround my yard and find this horrible noise. We've got these little, uh, this is like a PKE meter, I think. But instead of finding ghosts in the spiritual sense of the word, we're going to find ghosts in the electromagnetic sense of the word. We get to be like Egon Spangler. And I'm happy with that. And the idea is when we're kind of broadside, if, if you're the power line or, or the cause of interference, when this is kind of facing you like this, the meter should be really loud. And then we can kind of turn it so it's like that. And we should be able to null it out and that should uh, allow us to direction find whatever the source of the RF is so uh, let's go do that I guess we should probably put a battery in it first though so let's do that it takes a 9 volt all right so we're out in our RF cul-de-sac we've got a lot of transformers around you see there's one there, uh, there's one way back over there. I think there's one on a pole over there. There's another one there. And there's another one somewhere sneaking over there kind of behind the house. So prime real estate for RFI. So let's plug this thing in. I'll show you what it sounds like. I just got to put the headphone up to the microphone because Apple in all their infinite wisdom doesn't allow me to use the lightning port as an audio in. Thanks Apple. You're real creative. <laughs> so let's see if we can hunt this RFI down. So we're gonna extend the antenna of the PKE meter. Ooh. <laughs> Listen as I turn this on. <laughs> oh geez. <laughs> and definitely seems to be more stuff coming from that way. So let's go over there. So we're looking at the transformer directly behind my house. We can definitely hear some noise. Not doing much on the meter though, but we hear some static. This is giving us some noise. But I've heard worse. This is only peaking about 10 or 20 on the meter. So let's keep hunting. I don't think this is it. That might be it. That seems to be the offending uh, transformer there. Seems to be kind of intermittent, yet the signal on my radio is constant. Not sure. So I'm two streets over now. Did a bit of sniffing around on the first street. Couldn't find anything real strong, but some signals are coming a little further east of me. So I stopped, I thought there was a, there's a pole over there that has a transformer on it that I thought might be causing it, but 
for some reason when I point this over here, we're uh, about 80 on the scale here. So something, look at that. Something over here is causing some, uh, some nasties. So we gotta keep digging. So now I'm right around the corner from that last clip and that uh, transformer thing there, somewhere in this area, the noise is just stupid high. Absolutely bonkers. You can listen here. I mean, we're peaking 80, 60 to 80 on the meter here, depending on where we're pointed. So that's, uh, that's the noise that I'm hearing at home. It's coming from around here. Could be a grow light, could be a transformer. I don't know yet. But I'm gonna employ one other weapon, and that is the tape measure Yagi with the 705. So I've done a bit of research, found that you can set your radio for 135 megahertz, put it on AM if you have the capabilities, and some kind of Yagi, and uh, you can scope it out. And as we turn around, we start to hear all the noise. It's somewhere in this area. So I'm kind of thinking there's another transformer straight down there we're gonna check out, but I think we're getting close. Here's another look at that transformer though. And as I move, now the antenna's pointed to the ground. Now it's pointed to the transformer. But as we sweep this area, it's a little intermittent. Let's see, now it gets stronger. It's been in the red before though. See, so it's somewhere in this area. So now we're on the other side. We were down there. I've kind of canvassed this whole area. Let's take a look here as I turn this on, get the headphone up there. Let's see as we kind of move it around a little bit and get it horizontal. You can see that it peaks somewhere around this area. So let me show you with the uh, 705 and the Yagi. So pointed directly at the uh, transformer there. It's on the pole at the tip of the Yagi right there. And as we move our Yagi closer, there's our noise. Move it horizontal, goes away. Vertically, there it is. So it's definitely something nasty going on over here. It's not consistent though. On the HF radio, it sure is. Let's see, it's just nasty. So now at this point, all I can really do is note the location of where I think the offending transformer or transformers are and notify the power company. The interesting thing is I did a little bit of snooping around before I made this video a couple days ago. I thought the noise was coming from right next door. Now I'm four streets down from my house and it seems this is really the, uh, the hot spot for RFI. So I'll update you on a part two after I get a hold of the power company. Hopefully they'll come out and uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll have a part two of this and I won't have any more noise at home. But uh, I've turned off all the breakers at home. It's nothing's nothing's coming from inside the house. Uh, I've done battery power, all that stuff. Some of you have asked. Just wanted to show my little hunt for RFI. That little meter from MFJ is really cool. If you have a Yagi, you can use that too. I'm actually uh, kind of really liking using both. The Yagi helps kind of really find exactly where it is, where the other one's a little more broad, so you can kind of just walk around and listen and kind of stand under the power line. So either one, whatever you have, if you have both, use them. If you have one or the other, use that, that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know if we have an update. And yeah, thanks again for watching Kate Emery Radio Stuff 73, guys. Hold the phone. Actually, I just got off the phone with the electric company, uh, gave them all the information. I wrote down the uh, poll number. I took some pictures. And I, there's actually uh, what looks like a bird's nest or some kind of animal nest on top of one of the transformers that, that might be causing the issue. And uh, the lady was really helpful. Obviously, the, the person you're gonna talk to right off the front uh, I just straight up told him, I'm like, you're probably not going to help me be able to help me with this problem politely uh, and just start mentioning that I'm an amateur radio operator. I believe I found one of your transformers that's causing radio frequency interference. 
what do I need to do to solve this and have you guys come out with an RFI technician? Just start saying real technical mumbo jumbo. And he's like, yeah, you're right. This is not my department. Let me transfer you. So they transferred me to one of the technician ladies. She was very helpful. And she put it in as what she called an emer or emergency. So theoretically, they should be out here pretty quick. Maybe even today. I don't know. So uh, I gave him my phone number, told him, please call me uh, if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. I can bring my equipment out and kind of show them what I'm looking at. So we'll see what happens. All right. <laughs> That's the update for now. See you later.